Hey gang, it's just gone 9.30 and uh, we're an hour and a half up the river. Bit of a push today. Uh, I was in Omaru this morning, so uh, to be up in the northern Ruahinis tonight is a bit of a bit of a long day for me. We've got three and a half hours walk ahead of us, so um, we'll probably see you up at the hut when we get there. Oh, Dylan, I'm just curious, bro. Uh -huh. um, what 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 are you doing? Sunshade. Sun, sunshade. Sunshade. Rain. Five, five, five hours walking and he brings sunshade. Any words of wisdom, uh, Sako Dog? What is, your, what is your take on things? How do you sleep? Do you have a grass on your nose hole? What are you two idiots doing? Hey gang, we're up at 1450 metres, uh, as you can see it's bloody howling. Thanks for coming on the adventure, if you're not a subscriber already, consider subscribing to follow Ninja and I on our missions into the hills. So today we're going to get out of this wind, get over the other side of the main divide and see if we can't find um, a spot where animals could potentially just sit down out of the wind. Been glassing a bit of um, few clearings out that way and we can see the grass is completely still so hopefully deer are doing that on the other side in that morning sunshine. When you think you're a little bit clever and you stash a mocha sachet in the bottom there because there's some space. But you're not clever because you forgot it's there. What time are we thinking about getting out, Dylan? No, for the evening hunt. Yeah. Hey. Tonight. For our nighttime shooty bang bang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep, get, it, get out get out tomorrow for that shoot. <laughs> Surrounded by madmen. Old mate falling asleep somewhere. Super convenient and not at all in the way. We've been up on the uh, range for most of the day having a bit of a look around and the wind has been gusting between 20 and 40 kilometers an hour so it's just been uh, unworkable to take any sort of shots over any real sort of decent distance so tonight's plan the winds dropped a little bit it's only gusting for about 25 kilometers an hour at the moment i'm going to uh, watch these faces that you can see behind me and just hope for the best really see if something pops out in the um, lee of the wind and see if we can't get a shot away so this is where the um, ballistics app will really come into play in terms of measuring that wind speed and calculating where the shot's going to go all plan. Alrighty, stay tuned team we'll see what happens so after freezing our bollocks off all day we have opted for a bit of port and a bit of apple crumble which is quietly aging and doing its thing and 
however long that takes to turn into beautifulness. What are you, what are you burning there, Dylan? Oh, the good stuff, mate. Carrot cake and custard. The oh, finest. man, that looks good. Wow, that's well before sun up, and there's three lads hooking into a little bit of delicious nosh. The wind sounds even more angry than yesterday, if that's possible, so we'll see what we see when we get up there. Alrighty, up before first light as you've seen, and uh, across the tops there at 90 kilometres an hour was the fastest gust we recorded, and to be fair, we weren't hanging around to record it. All packed up. These young fellas are a lot fitter and a lot better shape than me, so uh, I'm going to cry my way back down the hill while they laugh at me. The dogs are loaded up with, um, unfortunately, a massive pile of rubbish that we've collected from the tops and from the hut itself, which is pretty disappointing. Anyway, we'll see you on the way down. Got about five hours walking ahead of us. This is the track we come along in the dark and uh, we were aware it was a bit sketchy and uh, quite close to an edge. But yeah, quite, quite close to an edge. Bloody goat track through here. Get up. 